Hi. 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 Are you here? Great. Good. Good. Ain't that special. Nice. What the hell did I get over here? Anyways, we got a Corona cigar. Interesting. We don't, you know, really can't smoke tons of Coronas because they don't make tons of Coronas. I mean, they're out there, but it's, I don't know, percentage. If you have to guess, 30 percent? No. 20? If I had to guess, it's maybe less than 10 percent of cigars at a local shop would be in Corona shape. That's my guess. Could be a five. I mean, you know, everything is Toro and Bordo. Be lucky to get a Robusto. We got 43 gauge, five and seven, five and three quarters. Wow, here you go. So basically, it's a sub six inch. Basically, it's a sub Toro length with a 43 gauge. It might be around the best possible situation because you're going to get plenty of time. Um, but at a more powerful existence. Mexican San Andreas, that's like the third night. Oh, Mexican San Andreas. Mexican San Andreas, Indonesian Minder, and I think it was Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania, interesting. I maybe had this cigar a long time ago in a different size, or I'm not sure there's other versions. This is the Long Live the King Mad Mofo. I don't know how many different versions there are, and I forgot to look this up if this was an AJ cigar. I'll have to look, we got a nice pig cap, little nipple end there. I'll have to find out if this is an AJ cigar, although we might find out anyways. Oof. It is a very thin cap on that, and I cut just a little too much shit. So, uh, yeah. They really went, uh, here's what it is. Your soft, gentle heat, I can't stress it enough. What's nice about this small gauge, you could probably toast and light this off one match. There you go, and here we go. And just like that, we're lit. Ooh, strong. No, we're not lit because that is some really thick, strong fucking tobacco. Really strong tobacco. Long, heavy finish. We are at a solid medium full off the bat. Wow. All right. Well, with this blend, with Nicaraguan, Dominican, Pennsylvania, and this uh, nice dark, our dark, veiny fucking Mexican San Andreas. I'm not sure if it's listed as a Maduro and Oscuro, and who gives a shit? Long buttery oily chocolatey finish slightly dark chocolate though but still has a nice sweetness like it's a milk chocolate but just a little too much it's a little dark on the dark side the pepper is lingering on the tongue as well the finish has got a lot of flavor and i can't stress that enough i like that hmm what the fuck was that We went to full strength. We went to fucking Pound Town. Pound Town, full strength right there. Right at a cunt hair, right there. Um, that would be, if I ever become a billionaire, I'd make my own airlines. It'd be called Cunt Air. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Cunt Airlines. Cunt Air. <laughs> cunt Air. Listen, if you're not here, you're a cunt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, I need a round trip to Conte. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ballsy. Black pepper. Earthy. Slightly buttery and oily, though. Long, heavy finish. It's weird. Sometimes when I'm puffing on this, I'm getting a big drag. And other times uh, I come to it and it's almost like I'm getting like a, I got to watch how I puff on this thing because the small diameter, okay, I, I, twice now I got like a little micro PG puff and I'm like, is this the same cigar? 
If you micro puff on a cigar, it really can play with your mind. Like, you know, you might, especially if you're not doing it consistently. Like if you go from a real puff to a micro puff, it, it totally changes it. Red hot black pepper, red hot red pepper, black pepper, very spicy, earthy, coffee, buttery, oily, with chocolate that's semi dark, with some sweetness to it. I got nothing bad to say about it. It doesn't feel like a cigar that I've never had before, so it's definitely not exotic. But I think due to the size and everything else going on, it doesn't feel like a dirty cigar. It's not edgy at all, um, but it, it, it's a powerful stick. Now, I can't say the same thing if you started widening the hole, making a fatter diameter, it might be less intense. Sure, it's good, but I must say it is slightly, slightly resistive. And I think that's just the nature of a 43 gauge. It's, it's rather small. Okay, so if you're just used to... 50, 52, 54 gauges, even a well-made 43, it's, it's so much less airflow, because it's so much smaller, that it might seem uh, restrictive. But it's not plugged at all, I'm just saying, it feels, you know. Is it me or is it you? Well, do you smoke a lot of 43 gauge? Not in the regular, who does? Uh, if you smoke the 43 gauge all the time, 43, 44, then you could say, oh, wait, was this just tight or not tight? But I don't normally smoke stuff sub 50 gauge because most of the time they don't make cigars sub 50 gauge. Sub 50, that sounds like fucking. Sounds like if, uh, I don't know, like if um, Mortal Kombat had a fucking dating website for like sub zero. Sub 50, we're all 20 to 50 year olds. Go to meet and fuck. Get over here with consent. Well, I was Scorpion. What is, what is, what is sub zero's for? What did he say? Freeze, bitch. No, that sounds that sounds aggressive. Yeah, Sub Zero. Was he? They both are bad. Sub Zero's freezing bitches. Like that sounds that sounds a little like fucking uh, the Jello guy. What's his name? But the well, because when you know if you're dating when people can't move, it's you know it's like, I'm frozen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at that Bill Cosby. <laughs> I guess it was Bill Cobbs, Cosby like the first like Sub Zero and Scorpion. Bill Cosby's like, <laughs> get over here, J E L O O. Finish your drink, Buttercup. Ha ah, Duke it. I like this cigar. Strong, powerful, intense. Slow burning for this diameter. Hmm. It's about 80% darkness. It is, it, is, it is darker than three quarter. And it's a full strength cigar. So, it's almost like a firecracker at that level. It's not full AJ, but it ain't fucking around. Man, I wish I had the camera on about 10 seconds ago. State troopers down here, they normally don't hang out really in Delray, but they have been the past few days, which is strange. And because you have Delray police, these, which they have like Ford Explorers, the state troopers down here fucking got like brand new, brand new, I mean like top of the line, no V6 model, fucking, uh, what's the four door? Is that the Charger or the Challenger? I'm not a Dodge guy, fuck, whatever the four door is. It's a charger, right? Anyways, man, that thing sounded mean. And they have fucking blue LED lighting on this thing. It looks like a laser. Looks like it looks like a laser beam coming down the street. I hope another one comes down the block. Dude, this guy he came around the corner behind me. You can't see it. Maybe I'll show you. This this corner here. Where that light is. He came around that fucking give me a second here. God damn. Okay. Give me a sec. He came around that corner. I heard him before he got to the corner. That's how, that's how fast he was coming around that corner. And I looked behind me, 
And when he came around that corner, he, bro, I wish I had the camera on see. He came out fucking drifting. That's how hard this motherfucker came in on that turn. If he was still like side drifting down the fucking, holy shit. Yo, whoever was, yo, God bless that state trooper. Whoever's driving like that. Yo, that guy doesn't care about miles per gallon. That that guy is fucking cruising. Holy shit. He burnt like half a gallon around that turn. We're going to drop the ash. Ash going solid. And I must say, it's a strong cigar. It's a full strength cigar. It's not like, you know, going to hurt your chocha. Like, you know, like, oh my God, like I'm going to die. But I mean, it, it's kind of an impressive Strong, spicy, dark, very heavy cigar with some good flavor to it. It's not like it's just basic earth and basic bitch black pepper. Like, so, you know, it's got red pepper. It's got some nice, sweet, semi-dark chocolate. It's got plenty of earth. It's got coffee. Um, all in all, Brother, I like this cigar. As of right now, it's going to be at least a 4.6. It's impressive. It's not a godlike cigar, but it's an impressively, it's a really very good cigar. Like, just shy of amazing. It, it's really, 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 really good. If you're looking for a good, strong, dark, powerful, 80% darkness... But what I like about it is lots of times when you get the full strength cigars that go 80% darkness, lots of times those blends, the profiles end up just being straight dark earth. And you're like, all right, it's strong and it's like, uh, you know, you know, Darth Lord Vader power darkness, but it's just, it's kind of sad. It's not a sad cigar. It's a serious cigar. Uh, if you like cigars like the uh, um, Camacho Chip Maduro, uh, but this is obviously Corona, but if you like handling cigars like that, this could be something up your up your chocha you're gonna like. And, and there's no problem with the construction of the draw, but it's really just the nature of a 43 gauge. Really, it's really a small diameter, 43. It's really a small diameter. I can't stress it enough. <sighs> so, um, um, well, yeah, leave it at that. I'll come back in the last third if anything changes, but really. Uh, and you have generally very strong, heavy, dark cigars. It's generally never like, oh, it's building up to that. No, it's it's already it's already broke the glass from the first third. So it, it, it's if you want power, strength, with some sweetness, um, with a lot of spice, and but it's not like it's gonna make you dizzy. But it's I think it's just a solid time. If you know, it's a solid fucking time, man. It's like if you're drinking your whiskey neat and you fucking just you know want to have a good fucking time. You get a good 45 minutes to an hour out of this stick. Right there. Got even heavier as far as, not stronger, but heavy on the finish. Just, just, it's, it's just oppressive. It's like, you want some more, baby? Yeah. So, yeah. If you like that, this is uh, provided by Cap. Cap, really appreciate this. And to all the guys out there, uh, you know who you are. Whoever uh, flexed on Richie. Uh, you didn't just flex on me. It, you know, it, it helps the channel out. And uh, just put out more content, but also just different content. Because uh, maybe it's cigars that I haven't thought to review yet. Or I've never seen before. Or whatever it is. Different combinations or size I never found. Or coming back to a cigar I already had reviewed. And giving it a fresh take. Um see if any changes or consistency issues it's a powerful cigar not a good transition cigar though like don't don't smoke this and then go to a Connecticut shade that's like you know I don't know it, you could of course in a way it's kind of like if you were getting lit off whiskey and then you just chill out with like a PBR so you know I can, I can understand that too I can understand smoking a Connecticut after a strong cigar only if you say, I'm not smoking for flavor now, but I want to smoke another cigar, but I don't want to wake up tomorrow after smoking two strong cigars. I can understand that. But if you want to enjoy two cigars in a row, smoke your weaker cigar first if you're going to 
try to pair two different cigars and then go to your stronger cigar. But as far as pairing though, I, I find that generally the same cigar works best back to back or at least cigars in similar categories. Um, but you do what you want, really. Well, down to the fucking nub. I enjoyed this cigar very much. It's a solid 4.6. I could definitely, definitely recommend this cigar. I'm not sure if it's still being made. Uh, came out a few years ago, but I, I but I think it's still being. Uh, being uh, I didn't see anywhere there was limited production. Full strength, strong cigar. It's not an AJ blend. Apparently, it was made in Dominican Republic. I think it was an enjoyable, well thought out blend for a strong cigar. And this interesting size, I did read though, was available in several different sizes. Though. It also was listed as a double Pennsylvania Lajero in the filler. I did some more research on it, so quite interesting. 80% um, darkness, full strength, long, heavy finish. So across the board, it's stout. But it was smooth enough that it was enjoyable. It wasn't blow out your chocho. All the flavors stayed the same. Just got heavier and heavier and heavier. So no need to discuss that again. I think it's a solid time. It might be worth maybe letting it sit around for six months to a year. Who knows what a little time on it would do. Maybe you just bring it down just a little bit. And, and you could enjoy the sweetness a little more. I don't know. Either way. Solid blend. And I appreciate Cap sending me this cigar I had a good time with this one this was a solid very good cigar and nothing bad to say no negative to report I wish everyone well I hope everyone is doing okay no cigars in prison lawyers are still more expensive than cigars go smoke a cigar before you do something stupid go have a milkshake have a cheeseburger smoke a cigar I don't recommend that on a regular basis but what I'm saying is it's better better to do nothing than something stupid okay limit your alcohol I recommend exercising a couple times a week you know staying strong is, is a good thing so anyways I'll see you around and uh stay fresh <laughs>